Hi, my name is Aaliyah and I'm the Energy Program Specialist here at the University of Florida's IFAS Extension in Sarasota County. And joining me is... Uh, my name is Cassidy House. I'm the Environmental Education and Outreach Intern. And today we're going to talk about energy conservation. Your daily routines and habits can actually add up to a lot of different energy consumptions. Think about your routine. When you wake up, you turn your lights on, you brush your teeth, you take a hot shower, make breakfast, maybe watch TV. All of those different activities add up to a lot of different energy consumption that impacts your parents' utility bills and also takes away from the Earth's natural resources. So now we're gonna talk about a few things you can do in your daily routines, some behavioral changes that you can actually do to lower your energy consumption throughout your day. So one thing that's simple that we don't always think to do is turning off lights, fans, and other electronics when you're not in the room. You know, everybody always says to do it, but it's easy to forget, so just be more conscious of that going forward. You're also gonna to wanna to take shorter showers. If you're taking hot showers, long hot showers, that takes a lot of energy to heat up the water. Um, so definitely try to limit your showers to five minutes. Also, uh, there's a thing called vampire loads where electronics may appear to be off if you've powered them down, but they're actually still sucking energy. Uh, so a way you can uh, change this is basically just by unplugging them. So anything that's warm or has a light or any sort of time on it, like your microwave or your gaming consoles, you just wanna unplug those entirely so that they're not consuming electricity unnecessarily. You also want to use daylight whenever possible, so make sure to keep your blinds open and allow that daylight to come in so you don't have to use lights unnecessarily. And you also just want to limit your electronic usage. That's going to help save energy and also you can do more productive things like read a book or go outside. There are two types of energy sources, renewable energy and non-renewable energy. Renewable energy um, is endless. It can't run out, like energy from the sun. Non-renewable energy can run out, like coal or natural gas. We can mine all the coal from the earth. So despite that, we mostly use fossil fuels or non-renewable energy to power our electricity grid in the United States. Uh, and to make matters worse, non-renewable energy is really bad for our environment and for our health because it pollutes our atmosphere. This is why renewable energy is the way of the future. Renewable energy like solar energy, wind energy, um, hydroelectric energy, and even geothermal energy, which captures heat from the earth, from the ground. Those are all examples of renewable energy. And unlike non-renewables, this type of energy does not pollute our atmosphere. So it's so much healthier for our environment and for our health. As Cassidy mentioned, the sun's energy is the most abundant renewable resource on earth. Using this solar panel and fan, you can see how strong solar energy is. We're not even in full sunlight, and this panel is actually powering this little fan right here. And as we go into the light, you can see that the fan speed increases exponentially. And then if I take it away, it will stop instantly. Put it back, and it starts. So this is just a great way um, to power different appliances, houses, cars, anything you can think of is through solar energy. So we're going to look at the temperature difference between three different types of light bulbs. A traditional incandescent light bulb creates light through heat. There's a little metal coil on the inside with gases surrounding it, and those react to make heat, which then produces light. So as you can see, if we take the temperature, it's 172 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to look at a compact fluorescent light bulb, or CFL. These use gases to create ultraviolet light, which we can't see, but there's a coating on the outside of the light bulb that produces visible light. These are a little bit more efficient, but as you can see, it's still 132 degrees. The most efficient type of light bulb is a light-emitting diode, or LED. These do not produce light through heat, and actually you can see it's 81.5 degrees, which is way less heat than these two produce, and also they last about 25 times longer. So as I mentioned before, non-renewable resources create pollution, which more scientifically is known as greenhouse gases. Now greenhouse gases can cause climate change, which means the earth is warming just a little bit. And even though it's just a little bit, it can have disastrous effects, such as sea level rise, the extinction of some species, and it can even worsen our air quality, which can hurt our own lungs and our health. And this is why moving forward with renewable energy resources is so important because they do not emit as much pollution or greenhouse gases as non-renewable resources. 
and you can contribute to the solution by decreasing your energy usage.